Hey, YouTube, you have Leonard here. Bring guys and gals, Koroshi I. Yes, Love of Kill. We're on episode number, I believe, episode number six. There we go. Um, so with that, everybody, I'm pretty excited to see what's going to happen in this episode. It should be a good one. It should be a good one. We see that Jimu, uh, I can't remember the name of the boss, but I'll call him Boss and Chateau. They're on a boat. Dianka is also on this boat as well. They're currently not aware and the blonde haired boy who seemingly is from that organization that's hunting down Yanka, he's on the boat as we speak. And as I said before also, Ho, he seemed like a menace, especially when he was attacking Chateau. I never viewed him as a legitimate threat. This boy I actually feel like is a legitimate threat to Yanka, and I'm, I'm honestly kind of worried. So we will see. We will see. Um, Sorry, just wanted to chat. Can't find the anime. It should be on there. Hold on. It's a... Uh... One second. Oh, maybe it's not on there. Uh, no, yes it is. Yes it is. Yo, what's the bill now? It just started. Yeah, dude. Dot film. Dot f i l m. And you should find it. <coughs> but it's right up there. No, don't you. Dot b is limited. Dot b is limited. <coughs> I use dot b for specific stuff uh, because it does have as many um. What you call it? Ads and whatnot. Uh, the FILM. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, then, well, that's a good thing. But with that, everyone, we're going to hop into this. Good time, though, to also highlight. Follow me on Twitch. Link description box down below. I do all my live reactions here on the Twitch side. You can join chat. And we have a good time over here. That we do. Um, oh, you got it on .b? Okay, I'm shocked to find it on .b. But you should just do dot .film. Because dot .film has, like, everything. Like, if I can't find it on dot .b, dot .film will have it. But can you found on dot .b? <coughs> oh, I miss Kiss Anime. Oh, I do. Uh, anyway, everyone, we're going to hop into this one. Smash that like button. It's greatly appreciated, as always. And with that, we're going to start this episode. We're going to begin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Song, yaha. <clears throat> Let's go pirate. No, no pirates, bay. Okay, I need some water. <clears throat> oh, from Pirates Bay back in the day. <clears throat> She's going to get her memories back. Oh, Q Tor, I remember Limewire and Q Torn. Q-Torn I remember all too well, but LimeWire was like my childhood. Okay, we're getting a flashback, everybody. But can't tell who that is. Dianka? A young Dianka, possibly? Yes. Oh, he looks so different. Oh, who's this? Is that Jiraiya's voice actor? Jiraiya? Can someone confirm this? Song Yang Kake. It sounds like Jiraiya. Alright. Granted, I don't even know the name of Jiraiya's voice actor, but... <clears throat> we will find this out. We will find this out. But I'm down for the Neon Cop flashback. It's Kenny meets Neon Cop. Oh, is the voice actor for Kenny the same as Neon Cop? I'm sure, I'm stupid. Is the voice actor for Kenny the same as Jiraiya? That's what I'm trying to say. I can't. Let's see.
Can I find this? Oh, nah. Uh, he looks like Kenny, if anything. Honestly, a lot of people, when it comes to the webtoons, if you're someone who grew up with manga, I'm finding more and more, myself included, you get so used to it that, honestly, now webtoons are becoming the thing where it's just like, art style is different. The stories feel, honestly, a little bit more refreshing. I get why people in the webtoons, myself included. It's just different. I still do manga more than webtoons, personally. But I have a lot of friends who, like, mainly just do webtoons. Alright, let's get back to this episode. Jim's voice, Jim Moot. What's he up to? Anata. Who is this? Tanto. Jim, you, even Jim is like, what is wrong with this guy? A relative. This is wife or something? <laughs> Yo, no way. This is actually hilarious. My guy has a wife. <laughs> Jim. No, there's no booing Chateau here. We can't boo Chateau. Tens of billions? This is his wife? I hate this man. Yo, Jim is tight. Jim is so tight, but I don't blame him. Doesn't make her a sexist. Leave her, leave Chateau alone. I mean, kind of does, but I'm not gonna front. I usually dislike Jim, but I'm on I'm on Jim's side. Jim is speaking nothing but facts. I'd be jealous too. Shouldn't you answer your... How are you going to leave our boy Jim like that? You know, I think Jim is like my friend of me now. I used to hate him. I, I kind of like love-hate Jim. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Big brain. You ill know all good. All good, no worries. What? Yeah, what's up, James? Killing stalking. I have read Killing Stalking. I didn't finish it, but I got pretty far. I finished at least season one, I believe. And he's a hundred percent just blackmailed her. Good job, Dianga. <laughs> okay. So James, you endorse the episode. Perfect.
Oh, what the? Of course they're watching him. <laughs> the boss is like, what am I listening to? He's like, oh my gosh. He's playing all of you. Yeah, James, I'm concerned about the third thing you just mentioned as well. She's used to it. She says she'll tolerate it. She's fine. This part is also kind of true. If you think about Shato, if if his wife was truly the target, do you think he'd make it to where he couldn't kill her off? I'm just saying. Mm -mm. Hmm. Only went to after party. Her eyes are she has no pupils. I don't know if I'm supposed to find this suspicious, but like she has no pupils whatsoever. Right? She has dead eyes. That worries me. I could just be overthinking it, but I don't know. <laughs> Facts. Aww. I mean, she's probably used to the sofa. Yanga? <laughs> it's so cute. What is he going to do? Pick her up? You, you took too long. You said you weren't going to get in the bed, though. Yo, where's the boss? Tancho. Tancho Taskete. <laughs> Man, now take the sofa. Bruh. <laughs> Yo, he tried it. He tried it and she was ready. That's super shady. That's super shady. But she shoots. Yo, imagine she actually just shot. Oh, she's actually falling asleep. Oh. 
Ó. She actually fell asleep. Oh, she knocked out. Tuck her in. Dang. See, Yonka, Yonka's a good man. Good man, even though he... Even though he, he he doesn't look trustworthy whatsoever, but he's a good man. Who's this? Imagine if he did charge his wife. I mean, maybe they have separate bank accounts. Jim is over it. Exactly, getting business is business. Tight. Tight. <laughs> Yo. I love Jim. I take it back, everyone. I, I used to hate on him. I love Jim. Mercy's not a morning person. Dang. Tight. That's definitely not. He's not wrong, by the way. She's really not blending in. Jim's axe. Look at Chad. Jim's axe is getting worse by the episode. This is also facts. <laughs> Situation where you got. Uh, to be honest, very often, if you know, like, honestly, for my, like, work, I travel, well, before COVID, I used to travel a lot. So that's correct. I would actually be stuck in situations where I wouldn't have a spirit during a business trip, especially if you got stuck, like, extra days, you weren't planning it. So I know all too well. But no, you get, stay away. <laughs> Guys, I feel so bad for Jim. Jim is so angry. I was wrong all along, guys. Jim is a kindred spirit. Jim is a kindred spirit. I don't blame you for not changing rooms, or I don't know. I don't know. I'm liking the dress. Oh, this is a dress from the opening. No, I think that dress is fine. Oh, damn. Don't, don't compare Jim to best... I mean, to, oh, shoot. Don't compare Jim to worst girl mommy. Oh, this is cute. She's so over him. <laughs> yeah, I almost said best and I hate myself for it. Yo, Chateau's so over this man. This is a very this is a very fun episode. Yes, Illinois, you just heard my girl mommy. Yep, you heard it. She says about the client stuff. Mmm. 
Yep. That he is. He probably thinks that... I mean, it's true. He probably thinks you're a target. And quite frankly, if I were him, I would be watching you. You've been kidnapped twice. Oh, that scared me. Yo, someone resubbed. Let's go. I'm watching you, P. Welcome. Thanks, UP. I appreciate it. And good to see you. Good to see you. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I was about to get serious now. Oh, he know. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, we're getting to the thick of it now, guys. Interesting. Interesting. Yes, Ilno, you've been missed in... Ch Not Ilno, sorry. <laughs> I'm watching you, PP. You've been missed in chat. You've been missed. Okay, what's about to happen here? What's he thinking? Oh, yeah. Will he pass? No. Is he going to kill the boss? Yes. Yes, he should have. Guys? No, 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 no. I don't like what's about to happen. I'm afraid. No, I'm not happy. I'm also afraid, so I don't want to look at chat right now. Young guy, you wouldn't. Oh no. 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 That wasn't Yanka. That wasn't Yanka. I told you guys I didn't trust this dude. Wait, I'm looking at. Man, I'm upset right now. It had to be the blonde boy. It had to be him. Yanka is not going to just stab the guy in the neck without. Like, no, no, no. Blonde boy knows stuff. All This whole organization knows stuff about Chateau. And of course, they're going to kill him off as soon as that happens. And Yanka was going to go over there. Maybe Yanka, if anything, was going to go there to try and save him. Man, I hate this. Man, why they gotta... This was such a happy episode. Such a happy, nice, good episode. They do this to me. I can, man. 
Oh. First time I saw the boy, I thought it was a girl. Who, the blonde guy? The blonde boy? No schedule to go off of. I don't know when to expect you. I asked you the Twitch. Yeah, that's true. Do you guys not get the notifications when I go live on Twitch? But yeah, I, I will. I will work on the schedule. I will, even though the schedule may change. It. Blonde boy had to be him. Huh? Chateau? What? You fool! Oh my god, oh my god. Yo, Ilno, you really you really went in on this after party, Ilno. Oh man, I really do like this series a lot, but man, they're killing me. They're killing me, these cliffhangers. So everyone, that was the episode. I I would argue this indeed. I know someone in my chat was highlighting this on Twitch. I would agree this was definitely one of the better episodes, if not the best episode so far of the series. Um, in my personal opinion, the ending was really... I think the ending elevates the episode. I have to say that much. Um, as much as I'm upset, it, it's in a good way. Like I, ugh, The boss. I don't know what it is with this season of me liking characters and them just dying. When I start liking them, like I'm starting to feel the boss. I'm starting to feel Jim. Kill Jim. You could have killed Jim instead of the boss. And I would, oh my. And he knew something. He knew something. And I think as a result, I don't know who was monitoring him or what. My head can is the fact that Bianca probably was going to try to speak to him, but he may have also realized that there's danger. I don't know. I don't know what Bianca was thinking, but I'm 100% certain that the person who killed the boss was indeed the blonde boy. We don't have his name. I don't care about his name right now. I hate him. I absolutely hate him. This is the case. And also, we have confirmation once again that Chateau does, in fact, have some love of Benicia. She doesn't remember anything about her past, which means that we will be getting a more in-depth backstory, legitimate backstory, um, as it relates to Chateau coming sometime in the future. But um, with that, everyone, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. <clears throat> like the video, like the video. Subscribe if you like my content is greatly appreciated. And with that, I'm Leonard, and I'm out. Take care, everybody. Peace.